Hey guys, okay, I picked up this uh, Magnum Pro X uh, pumps or airless sprayer by Graco yesterday and doing a little paint project today. I'm gonna be painting a sugar shack or it's like a big shed basically with board and batten siding. So I'm gonna use it with some stain. Uh, but first we'll just do an unboxing for the people who like to see those. Okay, so, so this one's just a little bit uh, of an upgrade from the X5. Um, nothing too major, you can look up all the specs online. Uh, I think you get a little bit more premium gun. It is a nice gun. Um, and then I had to pick up another spray tip uh, just because I'm going to be painting or I'm going to be spraying a thinner material like stain. But this one would be good for paints and primers uh, interior. So there's the unit and uh, yeah, we'll get into using it here in a second. We've got this nice setup guide here, just like a little booklet instead of going through the whole manual. So yeah, might as well just uh, get into it. It's got a little bit of pump armor, which is their storage solution that they sell. Uh, you can actually flush this one with a garden hose too, which is nice. It's got the garden hose adapter. Um, and that's pretty much all it comes with. Uh, you can use a five gallon pail or the one gallon or maybe even a quart if you, if you find that that's useful for you. But I think it would take probably that much just to fill the hose. Um, and the nice thing about this one, uh, unlike the X5, is you can actually replace the pump in the field. So you just slide this up and the whole pump uh, comes out. So I'm not gonna take it out, but basically it just slides right out, it pops down and you can replace the entire pump system uh, on it in the field. Uh, so that's kind of nice. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get to it. Okay, so I got my bucket of water and you're supposed to um, put your suction hose in here. And then this is supposed to go to a waste pail, but I'm just gonna let it run on the ground because it, it is just water and probably some pump armor. Um, okay, so we'll prime it. So the priming, so it's this way down to prime. This is spray. So we're gonna put it down to prime. You press this twice and it basically just loosens a little check ball in there. And turn it all the way down. It says turn it all the way down. I'll turn it on. Oh, then we gotta start turning it up. Put it on prime. Uh, it says in the instruction manual to go for 30 to 60 seconds. I'll let it go for a bit here just to get any pump armor out. Okay, and then shut it off. Okay, now that that's primed, I'm gonna open up my paint. This is what I'm using, wood tone, stain and sealer. I'm probably just going to leave the mixer in there. Okay, so I just got you at a different angle there. I wasn't supposed to submerge that in yet, so we're just going to prime it till we see paint come out. And this is supposed to be in a waste pail, but this is in a spot where I'm not too concerned. Okay, so we got paint coming out there, and then we submerge that 
into here. And we're gonna get our gun ready. Okay, so we're gonna turn the knob to spray, just turn it up. And then uh, this is the one it comes with, the nozzle it comes with. We're gonna take it out and we're gonna put in the, uh, put in the one for the stain and sealer. So I'm using this one here, uh, stain and sealer, six inch pattern, can 311. So the new tip comes with obviously the tip and but then this little ceiling part right here. You could probably use the one that was in it. You can see where it sits right there. I'm gonna take this one out and keep it with the original tip just in case they are different. They're probably not, but I just don't want to take the chance. So we'll just pop it out there. There it is. And then we'll place that one it came with in. So it just sits in there like that. The washer facing towards the gun. And then I'm gonna place that. Oh, this has to go back on the gun. Okay, so that's, um, this is spray, spray position, and this is cleanup position and the position we want it for priming the hose. Okay, so we're gonna hold down the trigger. And again, this should be going into a waste pail, but I'm just gonna let it go on the ground. This is your trigger lock. Undo that till we see paint coming out. That's okay, the pump will shut off because it's on demand delivery. And get it so we get a good amount of paint, make sure it's not diluted. And then you're pretty much good to spray. Uh, now you are supposed to back brush this stuff, so we'll see how that goes. And I, I didn't bother to cover all this, I'm just gonna wipe it off, it gets it on it. This building's about three years old. Uh, and this is just pine, pine, cedar, and actually poplar siding as well. Uh, so it should be pretty dry. Uh, you, I probably could have taken a pressure washer to it and got some of this uh, gray off, but I'm not super concerned with it. We're just gonna get this on just to protect the wood. Turn it up a little bit.
Okay guys, just finished up my little paint project here. Uh, very, very happy with the gun and the uh, Pro X 17. Like, was laying that stain on so nice and saved me a ton of time. So, I painted this whole sugar shack. Um, it's 12 by 12 by 12 feet high. Um, two coats. And I wanna say, oh, it's like noon right now. I really, I started at like 10. So yeah, like two hours to do that, which is pretty incredible. I mean, it'd definitely be longer rolling it. Okay, so it's clean up time. So we'll get into how we clean out the lines. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is uh, engage the trigger lock. Just like that, so you can't squeeze it. And I'm just, I'm going right by the instructions just so you know, you're not getting false information. Um, it says to take the tip out and this piece here and just throw it in your clean water bucket. Get this out of here. Is the manual only shows um, with the power flush valve, so basically you can hook this to a garden hose. Uh, but we're going to do it like you only have a pail of clean water. So I'm going to put uh, the suction end into here. And then normally you would put this into a waste pail. Um, but I'm just going to let it run out on the ground. And then I'll flip the pump to prime. And turn it on. So we see clean water. That's pretty good. I'm gonna flush it with more clean water, but we're just gonna do the gun now. Okay, so it wasn't recording when I did this, but you gotta clean out your hose. Uh, so you just uh, unlock the trigger and hold it down, turn your pump on, and then you can fl you can push the uh, paint through the line in the back into your paint pail, and then when it switches to water, you just put it into your waste bucket. I'm just letting it go on the ground. So I've already done that, but basically the process is just this, turn it on. And then you can see I got clean water coming through, so it's already been flushed through. And then you're gonna turn your pressure down until it shuts off, and then release your trigger. So that way there's no pressure built up in the line, and then shut it off. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna clean my tips, obviously, with uh, soapy water here, or water. And um, if you're using oil-based material, obviously you'd be using mineral spirits for all this cleaning. Um, I'm going to flush uh, really clean water through this thing one more time. Probably not going to film that. It's just the exact same process, but just I'm just going to use really clean water. And then because I'm going to be storing this for over a few, uh, more than a few days, uh, I'm going to be putting pump armor in. So I'll show you how to do that once I get to that step. Okay, I flushed more water through it. And one thing I forgot to mention, there's a couple of, there's a filter in the handle and a filter in here, which you should clean if you're not gonna be painting like the next day. Uh, and so because I'm doing a long-term storage uh, on this, I'm gonna clean them. So just unscrew that. Uh, I will unscrew the hose. And it's pretty clean, so, you know, we probably could have gone without doing it, but definitely doesn't hurt. Uh, it's got some stuff on it there. Yeah, right down on the bottom. So pull it out, definitely wash that off. If you're gonna be storing it for a while. That's all nice and clean now. Push that back in there. down. I'm going to leave the hose off. I'll just put that cap back on. Okay, now there's a filter in the gun here. Uh, I believe you just unscrew this from here. It's a place you can put a wrench. Uh, yeah, and then that swivels. Yeah, it's got some debris in it. That's pretty crazy. That's good though. That's what it's there for. So we'll clean that out. I 
Okay, so that goes back up in there. And then this screws on. Oh, and Oh yeah, so you can clip that handle out of the way beforehand, I think. And then tighten that down. Put your little hand guard back in. And that's cleaned right out. Okay, let's get the pump armor into it. Okay, so this is pump armor. You can buy it in bigger uh, bottles than this, but um, this is the one it came with. Okay, so all you're going to do is take your screen off the end here. And you're going to dump a little bit of the, it's blue, the armor into uh, into the tube, suction tube. And you're supposed to let that go to waste, but I'm just going to let it run on the ground. This is basically antifreeze. Uh, it's good to minus 34.4 Celsius or 30 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's got a little bit of lubrication, so I'll pour maybe half this bottle in. And then we're gonna turn the pump on, and it's in prime. No, yeah, it's in prime now. And we're gonna flush it through until we see it come out of here. Got the pump on, I'm just gonna turn it on slowly. It's pretty quick. There we go. So we got some coming through the tube, we got some squirting out of where the uh, sprayer was. So that's, I would be, is effectively winterized and good for long-term storage. I kept this little red cap, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there to keep the fluid in there. And then you can put your screen back on. And this just goes right here and that's stored and then my hose you don't necessarily run the pump armor through the hose i'm sure you could but i'm just going to blow it out with an air hose and just make sure there's no water in anything and that that should be fine uh so if you got any questions that i don't think i answered or that i didn't answer just uh leave them in the comments otherwise thank